Okay, good morning YouTube. Uh, this is Harmony again and I wanted to do a quick video. I did not have time to uh, <laughs> wash deep conditioning or even detangle my hair this week. So, um, sometimes it just happens. So I just wanted to do a quick video to show you guys how I've been wearing my hair. Okay, this morning when I got up, I spritzed my hair. This is Infusium 23 Leave-In Conditioner Moisturology mixed with water. I spritzed my hair to make it nice and soft. I do have a moisturizer in it, but I wanted my hair to be softer. So I spritzed my hair and until it was really damp and then I put on this cap, okay? And uh, this has been on for like a good 30 minutes while I was getting ready, while I was in the shower and getting dressed and stuff. So, and if your hair is really long, all you have to do is just take some bobby pins and pin it up and then put the cap on. And so that really will condition your hair and make it soft so it will be easier to style. Okay, so I'm taking the pins out. Okay, what you're going to need is um, a little bit of oil. I have some Astra's Sunkissed Hair Polisher. These are natural homemade products. I bought some that I'm using on my boyfriend's daughter's hair, but I kept the hair polisher for myself because she doesn't need that right now. She's going through a transition stage. So I'm going to use this on my sides a brush and some small and large bobby pins. That's all that you're going to need. Okay, so I'm going to take some of the hair oil just to make sure the conditioner is distributed evenly through my hair. Okay, I'm just going to rub that in. Take my sides. Okay, just work it in and stretch it out so I can have some hair to work with. You know our hair gets shrunken and dry, so the conditioner just stretches it out. Okay, all right, so once that's stretched out, all right, what I'm going to do is take it from the back and then proceed to twist it up. Get a good amount, okay? You see how that is? You see that? Okay, I'm gonna take a large bobby pin and secure that part. Then I'm gonna proceed to work my way up to the top, okay? I'll use another large bobby pin for that. All right, now the front I use smaller bobby pins for the front. If you find that you need to keep using a large bobby pin just to secure the thickest part of your hair, feel free to do so. Okay. So I'm just putting the bobby pins in the back just to secure it. I'm sure you can see that. Alright. Alright, now the front. With the front, I just take side pieces from each side and I just keep like do you see this right here I just take that and put it back here I secure it and that's not a good one I'm using a smaller bobby pin for the front and then I take turns on each side okay so See right here, I'm just gonna smooth that over, all right, and secure that. Okay, then I'm going to have some of the hair stay on this side. I don't want to have all this hair in the front, but what you're gonna do is whether you want your hair on your left or your right side, I want my hair to be on my right, so I'm going to position this over here. Okay, and fluff that out just a little bit. Don't touch it too much, okay? And then the rest of my hair up here, I am going to continue to secure, okay? The rest of the left side, I'm going to con can continue to secure that with bobby pins, all right? Like right here, and up until right there to the side, okay? Secure it. See, I'm securing it with the bobby pins, okay? 
and whatever is over here if you want your hair fuller you just bring that to the side okay now I have a little bit in the front that needs to be secured don't be afraid you shape it how you want it it needs to be secured so I'm just gonna take it and put it right over here I just put it in the back and secured it with the bobby pin all right and you might still have to play around with it but that's how I've been wearing my hair this is how I've been wearing my hair now I don't like that the back right here is puffy so I took another bobby pin and I'm going to secure that also okay and that's that and that is my hairstyle for today and the grand finale is my earrings oh wait a minute I forgot to put the ashes on my sides take a little bit of the ashes or any pomade or some of you use gel, but I don't use gel. This smells so good. Take a little bit of it and put it on your sides. Take a little bit and put it on your other side. And just gently, gently just smooth it out. And that's it, okay? Gently just smooth it, your sides down. Gently, gently, and that's my hairstyle for the day, okay, and I really like it, so, and you don't have to do this just when your hair, you know, needs to wash, you can freshly just, you know, wash and condition all stuff and, 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 you know, um, detangle your hair, and instead of twisting it and, and, and all of that kind of stuff, maybe you just don't want to touch your hair for the week. You just keep doing that to your hair for the week. And it's it's a good hairstyle. There's no pressure on your hair, you know, and that's it. Now tomorrow morning, all I would have to do is I wouldn't do the whole spritz and take it out again. What I would do is I would sleep with a scarf on and then just spritz the front and then just brush the front back and just take out some of the pins and just, you know, reshape it. But that's my quick hairstyle. I've been wearing this from since Monday. So, and I'm going to wear it until Friday because I'm not going to do my hair until uh, Saturday. So, yeah, that's it, guys. So, you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Thanks for stopping by.